that gets a good team. How do you coach that during a game but not kill a kid's confidence? It's hard. Uh, you, you just tell them that they're better than that. Uh, we expect better. Uh, you know, and, and, and unfortunately, it was guys that we really, we really have a lot of confidence in that did it. That's, I mean, that's the, that's the irony of it. Uh, it was, it's tough to get on a guy who does everything right. So. And finally, for me, you know, how, what do you do in practice to, you know, eliminate those turnovers? What's repeat yourself over and over again. Every every time that person has the ball in their hand, ball secure. Just scream it out, no matter what. No matter if the ball security is good or not. So just say it over and over again. Thanksgiving week, what do you remember of it uh, as a player during your college times? Uh you know, you get the you get to stay around your, your teammates a lot longer. Uh, and I laugh and joke a lot more, talk a little bit more, mess with each other, play games, and 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 um, focus up on whatever team you have that that week. So, yeah. Is it a good thing for this team? You think, especially coming off of a big loss like that? Yeah, they need that. They they need time together and uh, no school. You know, none of that headache part of uh, none of the headache part of our school. Just just football and, and enjoying your team. Uh, going off of that, how do you guys use that to, to your advantage? And that's been something that this team has used all year to play for each other, things like that. How important has that become down the stretch with these last two games? Maybe the obviously three, four games. Too? Well, they get a they get a chance to really hone in on video and. And, uh, and study the opponent, uh, opponent a lot better. And the great part about it now is you can watch video with a lineman. You, you can you can watch it with a, a running back, and you can get what they feel and what they see about it. So you can understand the things that the different positions go through. That's what I did when I was playing, and that's what I encourage my guys to do also. What's enabled Iowa State secondary to kind of match routes so well and like stay in man coverage? They're tough. They they don't they don't give up. Uh, I see a bunch of guys out there that's probably slightly undersized or didn't get all the offers that they probably should have got because of their height or I don't know what it is, uh, but. They play with a chip on their shoulder, which, you know, that's what I like. That, that was me playing with a chip on my shoulder. So I see a bunch of passionate guys out playing, wanting to make a statement, wanting to prove to everybody that they, that, that they can play. What's it say for their coaching staff that they're still getting that effort from them despite the, the record overall? I'm some, some good coaches over there. Uh, I mean, you could, you could just, well, when you get guys that play like that, no matter what, it, it, it has to be. It has to be coaching. It has to be coaching because everything in the kids' mind is telling them to give up. And if you got great coaches behind you, I mean that's the that's the result you get. How do you go about matching that then with your guys? Well, we we need to get to we need to win this next game. We just we lost one because of mistakes we made. We need a mistake-free game. We, we can be mistake-free, and we play hard, we should win. What's Javon giving you this season that maybe he did and hasn't in the past? What are you really getting out of him? Like, uh, more confident. He's a lot more confident in himself. Uh, he, he, he's buying in and what I tell him. Uh, he he's accepting the fact that uh, a lot of balls ain't gonna come his way. When they do, you gotta seize that seize that moment, and, and he's accepted it. Uh, he's willing to, to to run little quick screens and get the ball in his hand, make people miss. He's willing to dig his nose inside and block linebackers. He's, he's just doing everything I asked of. It's a kind of similar role you see for him then going forward in the future. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, everything will pick up. Everything from play to uh, opportunities to make plays. Everything's going to pick up. On the flip side of that, he's feeling frustration out of Sheldon. He has been making the big plays. Sometimes he gets a little frustrated when he doesn't make the big plays. What do you see from him on those? Well, I actually like it. I like I like the aspect of wanting to be the guy to make the play. And it is is I don't think Shelton's the worst one. I think it's I think it's all my guys. They they feel like they're capable of making that play. And they all want to be putting that opportunity to make that play. So they they they, they, they live for that moment. They live for it. And it just it's just when the opportunity presents themselves. 
presents itself, they can they can capitalize on it.